Alright right, guys, I got a uh, new video here for you today. Um, this right here is on the Droid Bionic, but this also works on the Droid Razor or the um, Droid 4. Either of those works to do this. Um, what I'm going to show you guys how to do is to update or fresh install SafeStrap 3.11 which is uh, Hashcode's uh, new safe strap version, and I'll show you what the new features are in it. Um, so, first thing you're gonna do is, if you're doing this the first time, you wanna do these steps, but I'll show you the rest of it. So if you already have safe strap, like safe strap 3 installed, like I do right here, you're gonna go into it. Also, you're on your stock ROM here, not any custom ROM. You have to boot back to your stock ROM, which is what I'm running right here. Um, so you can see we are on SafeStrap 3.05. And to update what I do, what I think is the best way to do it, is to hit uninstall recovery. Now it's going to uninstall all those files that SafeStrap puts in place for recovery and it's not installed and then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the app and we're going to pull it up here and we're going to hit uninstall and we're uninstalling it so now you've uninstalled recovery with inside the app and you have uninstalled the application um, now what we're going to do is you're going to have to go ahead and download the new safe strap and go into your file explorer like I have here and we're going to find the file so it is right here let me show it to you guys um, properties it is called safe strap dash razor dash d4 dash bio dash 3.11 apk that is the file and we're going to go ahead and hold down on it actually we can just hold on hit it once and we're going to hit install and what this is going to do is it's going to install the new safe strap and it shouldn't take too long done and then we'll back out and we'll go back to app drawer and the new safe strap should be in here we'll hit it and you should see let's see here it's going to ask for a super user which you're going to hit it hit whoops you make sure you have remember checked and hit allow and agree to the disclaimer which is just hash code covering his butt basically in case you mess up your phone it's your problem um, now you can see down here it says you're on safe strap 3.11 and it says nothing's installed so we're gonna hit install and granted super user permission okay looking good install complete so it says recovery state Installed safe system not actives because we're still on the non safe system or the stock system stock ROM slot um, Okay, so we've done all those steps basically it's installed now. We're going to power off the device and Power back on and I'm going to go into safe strap and show you guys the new features of safe strap 3.11 on the droid bionic here again. This will work with the droid 4 or the Droid Razor. Um, all right, so power on. When the splash screen comes up for Safe Strap, we're going to hit this little button down here in the corner, this little menu button, which will get us into Safe Strap. Or you hit the search button, which will bypass it. So you saw the splash screen. We hit the button, and it is going to boot up into Safe Strap 3.11. So basically, the, the only difference you're really going to see here in this new version of safe strap is this red right here um, it says installs you're on ROM slot stock and it says installs so what that means is that you can actually install something to your stock ROM slot which before you didn't have that feature so if you want to put a custom ROM in your main stock slot you can now do that if you want to flash some kind of custom zip to it some kind of theme any of that kind of stuff those features are now there so you can go in here and as you can see now you're allowed to do that on the stock ROM slot um, flash any ROM whatever you want to do just be careful because it is your stock ROM slot and you don't want to mess things up you can always 
FX back to ice cream sandwich if you do but very much a nuisance and that's kind of the feature of safe strap is you don't have to do that stuff it's your stock system is protected but if you want you can flash things to it you know like for example do I have the ice cream sandwich let me see here I'm gonna go up a level um, jelly bean no da, da, da. I, um, yeah, I don't see the file I'm looking for, but you can flash like the circle widget mod so you have the circle widget launcher and the circle widgets. If you want to do that to your stock ROM, whatever, you can you can do that. I have those files. I have a video on it. You guys can check that out. Um, so boot um, options here. You see I did have a couple ROMs here in ROM slot 1 and 2, and they are still there and still intact, and I can still boot to them. Um, so that didn't actually get changed. You just uninstalled the recovery system and deleted the app and then re did the new app and then reinstalled it. That's the process that you go through. If you're installing it for the first time, you don't have to uninstall it, you just install it like you saw me do. Um, pretty simple and you boot into it this way. Um, so you can see we're highlighted on stock ROM. I'm going to leave it on stock ROM. That's what my wife likes to run on her Droid Bionic here. So that is it. That is basically the only new feature that I really saw in here is now you have the ability to flash things to your stock ROM. So that is it guys, um, if you want to reboot, just reboot and system and it should boot back up into your stock ROM slot or custom if that's what you put it on. Um, hope you guys like this little tutorial on uh, updating SafeStrap and the new feature in SafeStrap 3.11. Um, please uh, check out my links below in the video description along with give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.